Hello, I'm Dr. Moyo, CEO and founder of Wealthy. It is April 6th, 2020, and this is our COVID Bulletin. The World Health Organization is reporting that cases in the United States have topped 307,000, with deaths continuing to rise to 8,358. WHO is reporting 1.17 million cases worldwide, with 64,541 deaths. The coronavirus has reached every inhabitable continent. It is imperative we all do our part to stop the spread. Please listen to recommendations to stay home, stay six feet apart, and stay healthy. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson was hospitalized with mild symptoms of fever and cough. He tested positive for COVID-19 on March 27th, but was admitted to the hospital for precautionary tests. Captain Brett E. Crozier of the USS Theodore Roosevelt was fired after a letter he wrote asking for help and resources from the Navy was leaked. Pleading on behalf of over 4,000 soldiers, over 100 of which had tested positive for COVID-19, the captain wrote, We are not at war. Sailors do not need to die. The World Health Organization wants you to know that you can recover from COVID-19, and catching the new coronavirus does not mean you will have it for life. And for those of you staying home, thank you for doing your part. Don't forget to have fun, grab a book, and read with your kids. If you're looking for a little fitness this week, check out Caroline Jordan for Feel Good Fitness. You can visit mind.wealthy.com and sign up, and click on over to the health feed where we'll be posting new videos that we've been collaborating with Caroline on. The New England Journal of Medicine published a great review of the clinical characteristics of COVID-19. We'll be breaking down some of their findings, and you can see that at wealthy.com on Instagram. Our recommendation for nutrition is a personal one. And having had the personal pleasure of trying Katie's food, we challenge you to challenge yourself to go vegan for the quarantine. Check out our cookbook at katieshealingkitchen.com. Last week, Dyson announced that it had designed a ventilator in just 10 days. This rapid design, development, and deployment is an example of how companies, manufacturers, and engineers can put their expertise to use for commercial and critical needs. The future of manufacturing may be as a proactive part of a national response plan to disasters. Thank you for watching. I'm Dr. Stephen Moyo, and you can find me at wealthy.com and contact me at docmoyo at wealthy.com. Thank you.